So now that we have everything in place, let's try and go to the next step with this REST API and see what else we can do with the beautiful um, package we have right here. Uh, and I feel that we've kind of come to a place where the package is just not as strong as some of the competitors out there. Because if you want to now make a new endpoint, so instead of customers, let's say we wanted another endpoint called um, Shang'e, just for the fun of it, let's paste this in. You would have to do all of this manually. You would have to manually go in and rename this guy, call it Shang'e. You would have to manually go into each of the controllers. You would have to rename them. Of course, there are some tools out there like IntelliJ that makes it easier for you to do all of this renaming. But again, you would have to do all of this manually. I would have to rename the Shang'e facade. I'd have to rename Da, 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 da. I'd have to rename the customer, the Shanger. So notice all of this is manual, right? So I feel that even though this is a great startup uh, REST API tool for um, our Yeoman setup, there are better ones out there. So I'm going to present to you one that is even better next. But let's just try and wrap this up. I'll just skip to the end where I've just renamed everything. So now everything has been renamed. Let's just have a look at what I actually renamed. So every place in here where it said customer, I just renamed it to Shanghai. Every file here, I just renamed it to Shanghai. And that's all I have to do. And it's really not a lot of work because a lot of the work is actually stored in these generic classes up here that we talked about earlier. And that's kind of the power of this REST API. That's what makes it very, very strong because notice that in the controller now, I still have, um, oh, sorry, in the facade, I still have all of this ready for each API. So Already we have pagination implemented, already you have searching, uh, sorting, sorry, implemented. It's already there. It's really, really powerful. So now the Shanghai is ready. And let's just, one more place I have to work, and that's inside routes, because I need a new route in here. And that's, of course, my Shanghai route, like this. And that's going to point to Shanghai. Now I need to find the file where Shanghai is defined. And that's the Shanghai route right here. So again, it's just manually covering a lot. And... I know there are tools out there to make this easier and I really encourage you to use those if you want to use this REST API. So there we go. Now we should actually be able to use Shangars as well. So let's try and just make a Shangar. So again, let's uh, make a post here for Shangar. And I made the Shangar very, very simple. So we just have to put in a name. So Shangar. There we go. Let's add some uh, information for the Shangar. Go in body. I'll just, it's just name. That's how simple I made it. Let's just call it Hora and see if it works. And there we go. We got a new Shanger with the name Hora. Let's just make one more called um, Action. There we go. And the last one called Comedy. There we go. And let's just try and see if our pagination works, right? So we'll add an and sign. We'll add, uh, let's start with sorting. I just want to know if that works. Sort by name. And we'll do again instead, and let's see what we get. Now we have them sorted horror, comedy, action. Let's try and sort um, the other way around. Action, comedy, horror. So sorting works already out of the box. Great. The other ones will work as well. Let's just try them out. So we'll add um, the count of each page is going to be one. And let's just start there. And then you'll see we only get one back. That's the action. And let's also add um, the page. And let's say it's page two. Now we should get the second page in the sorted. So that should be comedy, A-C-H, right? Action, comedy, horror. So everything is running. You just made another route. And of course, the only thing I changed was very simple. I put in, I copied the old route and I just put in these things. So that makes this API very strong. But you have to do some manual work to make this work. But again, the API is very easy to read and very easy to use.